All right, guys, before we jump into today's video, I did want to talk to you about Sleeper. If you've not checked out Sleeper yet, you're sleeping. You need to wake up. Go check it out. You can get 100% of your first deposit matched with the link in the pinned comment. That's up to 100 bucks. If you put in 100 bucks, Sleeper's going to go... Here's $100 free dollars. You'll have a new account balance of 200. This is my favorite DFS Pick'em app out there right now because they don't follow the fixed payout structure like all the other apps out there. Each and every selection you make has its own dynamic payout multiplier and you can win up to 100 times over on Sleeper. And again, speaking of 100, 100% of your first deposit match. Make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment. Go check out Sleeper. All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday night football, week number five. We got the Washington Commanders taking on the Chicago Bears. Right now, Washington at home as five and a half point favorites. The total sitting at 44 and a half. I have a couple picks that I do like uh, in today's uh, or, or for this Thursday night football matchup. I will say. I don't think this is going to be any sort of instant classic or anything like that. Uh, I don't think the game's going to be all that sexy or pretty to watch. But nonetheless, we did seem to find a couple plays that I'm comfortable rolling with. And we'll get to those in today's video. But before we do, guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. You guys have been going absolutely nuclear on the subscribes and the likes and i cannot be more thankful so thank you guys so damn much for the support as of late uh we're putting out a ton of content i think um you know four weeks into the football season we're averaging like 16 videos per week between baseball football we do h to h like we we do a bunch of videos here on the channel and uh you guys are making it super worth it so hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well and uh yeah we can just go ahead and jump into my first pick here like I said, Washington, five and a half point favorites, total sitting at 44 and a half. Neither one of those really jumped out at me. You have two teams uh, that I don't love. Uh, Chicago, 0 and 4 on the season. They're 0 3 and 1 against the spread. Um, 0 and 2 on the road. Obviously, no wins yet. Washington's 2 and 2, both straight up and against the spread. At home, they are 1 and 1. But I don't really buy what Washington's selling right now from a DVOA perspective um, they're 21st in offensive DVOA 18th in defensive DVOA total DVOA at 24th um, and then the Bears as we know one of the worst if not the worst team uh, potentially in the league as of right now uh, in terms of their DVOA 28th offensively 31st when it comes to defensive and overall so you have two teams that I really don't love and I, I don't love the idea of having to lay points if you are the Washington banners i talked about it in a couple videos as of late like i'm just not sold on what they are just yet i hear all this talk about the defense and it's like well well where is that pass defense 23rd dvoa ninth in run so i'll give you credit there but this defense has not looked all that great um yet they let up uh, 33 points to denver 37 to buffalo and then 34 to philly so i'm not backing the commanders here the problem is i'm not really feeling the chicago side of things either so we are rolling with a same game parlor lay in here minus 115 odds over on bet mgm we're looking at plus 11 and a half for the bears so keep it to within that range plus 11 and a half just don't get blown out and then the total over 36 and a half bears terrible terrible defense so hopefully we can get some points out of washington here and then i think you know all the bears need to do is kind of carry their weight to stay in the ball game keep it to you know 11 points and uh, i think we also see the over as that sort of progresses there in terms of what we've seen from the bears all four of their games have gone over this mark fairly easily as well washington three of the four have gone over the only one that hasn't gone over 36 and a half would be game number one that was against arizona and arizona didn't really pull their weight um, but they finished at 36 as a total so right there as well i do think this is obviously a key number in football that 36 and a half you know to 37 so uh give me that same game parlay again that's chicago plus 11 and a half and the total over 36 and a half it, it's the best i could do with sort of a game pick in this spot i don't love the idea of laying the points uh you know just straight up here for washington but i also wish that the bears you know were plus seven and a half give me give me a touchdown and then some change right so we had to go with the same game parlay play with the lines a little bit don't hate it 
um, at all, though, I think that the odds are really good. Minus 115 over on BetMGM, like I said. Actually, in other books, it was minus 120, minus 130. And then on DraftKings, we were getting plus 10 and a half um, for minus 120 odds. So we beat the odds and get an extra point there in terms of the spread. And then in terms of our player prop here, guys, I have one player prop for today's video. It is brought to you by Outlier. We're going to jump into the Outlier app in just a second so I can show you guys what we're rocking with, the desktop version. They also have it for mobile, but you can get seven days free with the link in the pinned comments. So make sure to go ahead and check out Outlier, guys. This app is goaded, whether you're on desktop, computer, laptop, phone, anything, guys. They are amazing over there and so much stuff coming down the line as well they've given me some access to their beta programs and whatnot super freaking cool i wish i could tell you about it so make sure to go check out outlier again that link is in the pinned comment now let's go ahead and jump into the outlier app here so i'm looking at dj Moore. Over 49 and a half receiving yards. You can see so far on the season, he's only done it two of the four games, but he's coming off of a really good one against Denver here, um, in which he uh, got 30, uh, 131, excuse me, receiving yards there. He reeled in eight of his nine targets, and this is what I like to see. You're seeing a guy that, yes, week number one against Green Bay, they didn't look all that good, right? That was a that was a bad game. The final score ended up being um, 38 to 20. They got blown out even more than 20. Like that 20 looks like the Bears offense played better than it actually was um so i'm gonna look at these last three the last three weeks here seven targets six targets nine targets i'm loving the spot for him to go over there i also don't mind his receptions it's sitting at uh three and a half right now but i don't love the juice so uh, i am looking at his receiving yards over 49 and a half if we flip it to the washington side of things you can see they are the sixth they average the sixth most yards allowed to uh wide receivers per game here at 205 um and even looking at it from, you know, is DJ Moore going to be on the field? You can see him right here, literally playing 90 plus percent of snaps more than any other receiver here on the Chicago side of things. So give me DJ Moore over 49 and a half best odds right now are minus 110 over on FanDuel. You can see the other books actually have uh, slightly more juiced lines. DJ Moore over 49 and a half receiving yards. And uh, unfortunately, that is the only other pick we have in today's game we have the same game parlay and then this player prop keep an eye on the pinned comment to see if we end up rolling with anything else i'll probably make a youtube short or tiktok um, about it if it's a player prop or something like that just so you guys have some context but yeah right now again to recap bears plus 11 and a half parlayed with the over 36 and a half and then for my player prop dj Moore over 49 and a half receiving yards let's stay hot guys really really good week last week in week number four looking to take that momentum into week number five here and we got to start it off with a nice thursday night football game again the matchup isn't all that great it's kind of like who might suck more or that type of thing but we're able to find a couple plays that i am confident and comfortable with so let me know what you guys are rolling with in the comments again hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video all right peace out